Hello. Oh, look at this mess. How are we all? Let me just do a little bit of that. Bring it all up on screen so that I can see what I'm doing here. How are we all? Oh gosh, I can hear myself again. Okay, so welcome back. Um, second live Facebook for the day. And I thought this afternoon I would, whoops, sorry about that reflection there. I would do something with some Lindy's and make a little canvas and do a little creating, um, something a little bit different that I haven't done in a little while and have a bit of a play. So today, as part of the Picture to Page online show, we have uh, had some fantastic specials online. So we are talking, oh, hello, ladies. We are talking stamps and stencils are 15% off. Scrap Effects products are 15% off. Lindy's products are 15% off. And kit, uh, not kits, what are they? Um, three quarter designs products are 15% off. There's a massive range of really awesome things at 15% off. So nataliemay.com.au. I'm just going to get rid of that flutter. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so let's just jump right into it. Have a drink, Natalie. This is a Stamperia rice paper. So they come packed something along, you know, something like this. A lot of people get them and don't know what to do with them. I've had numerous questions, Natalie. What do I do with rice paper? Well, let me whip up a quick little something something here so this is the lady vagabond rice paper and i have pre-cut that out it does look something like oh where's the other bit here this as an a4 sheet so all i have done is whipped around her head with a pair of scissors and made that work and what I want to do is I'm going to stick her on about there. But I'm going to do a little bit of bit of love in the background first of all. So I'm just going to pop her aside. Um, I've got some book paper here. I've got some Tim Holtz collage paper. Uh, I might just start with that. And I might pop some of that down. So I'm going to use some gel medium to do that. And a paintbrush. And hopefully... Oh, that paintbrush will do. Beautiful. And I'm going to pop this on. So this project is going to be a bit of a, a an arty sort of mixed media canvas. So I'm putting down my gel medium first onto here. And now I'm going to pop that on up there. I'm one of those people. If I've got straight lines, they've got to be straight. It bugs me if it's not. But I'm going to make sure it's all stuck down really good. So, and I'm not worried about it going over the top because I can cut that off later. So just for uh, ease, I'm just going to do that. So I'm just pushing it down with my paintbrush, spreading it down like that and giving it a, a really light little coat at the same time of gel medium. Okay, um, my brush is not saturated. I don't want it sopping wet. And that's really, really important. Um, so I'm going to pop that like that. So I might pop a little down here next. Uh, let's go with some more here. Pop some down here. Um, so you guys have been shopping up a storm today. Been keeping us busy indeed. We have, um, I see that a lot of you have taken advantage of our um, our patterned paper specials, which is wonderful. So that's 15% off of, off of patterned paper. And so that can go down there. And I'm gonna pop a little bit of this up here. I don't want too much. I just want these little bits of interest because I am going to be adding some stenciling in as well. And 
that's about as far as I have thought ahead. I'm going to pop some book paper on. I'm going to try not to put any collaging underneath where her face is going to go because it will show up underneath the rice paper because rice paper is transparent. So as you can see, if I put it under there, you're certainly going to see it. So I'm just going to layer up some of my collaging now. I'm going to pop some book paper over the top because I like the different textures. I like that it's got these wonderful different textures on here. And I'll pop some book paper down the bottom. Hello, Karen from Tassie. How are you today? Pop that one down there. And putting the gel medium over the top. And I'm gonna pop a little bit. Let's have a look at where she's sitting. in here so this would this little um, project that I'm doing here with the rice paper would be fantastic in an art journal it would be fantastic in um, on a scrapbook page and leaving space for a, a photograph um, but I just thought I'm gonna make a nice little piece for to pop up on the on the wall of the studio in here up on one of my little shelves behind me because you know they're not overflowing or anything anyway Right, that's enough for the time being. And um, make sure you clean your brush straight away with gel medium because it's an excellent adhesive and it will make your um, make it all stick together if you don't, make your brush stick together if you don't clean your brush out. All right, now, and that's as far as I've planned. Excellent. Well done, Natalie. <laughs> All right, so let's have a bit of a think. I'm gonna pop her here. I also have a few other little bits and pieces that I have pulled in. That being, I've got some of this mesh tape that you can just buy from Bunnings. Um, readily available to absolutely everyone. It's an excellent little, um, it's, I think it's like a plasterer's tape. I'm gonna pop some of that on and it's sticky, which is wonderful, but I do like that it just creates a little bit of texture. I think everybody has seen this tape. I know I have included it in kits and it is a excellent, excellent ad, um, addition to all sorts of projects actually. With that, coolio. Okay, uh, what else do I want to do? How about I add a little stenciling to the background now? So I thought I might make my own coloured texture paste. Uh, what do we think about that? Do you know how to make your own coloured texture paste? I like to use, I don't need to cut that off, stop it. I like to use a little bit of Lindy's with some modeling paste. I'm just looking for this. Oh, I really do need to clean up these shelves behind me. All right, so I want to make up my own modelling paste. So what I'm going to do is I've got a squirt here of modelling paste and I'm going to use some of the Lindy's Magical. So this is a gold. Let's go with... I'm just going to grab a palette knife. Oh, I had to pick one up that's almost empty. Tip that powder onto there. And now I'm going to mix it up really good. Dissolve all of that powder into the modeling paste. So Lindy's of course are also at 15% off 
for this weekend. So anything that you purchase with Lindy's, whether it be embossing powders or magicals or something like that, you will uh, get 15% off that price, which is excellent. My very dirty little palette knife here. I nearly licked my finger then, that wouldn't have been ideal. And now I have my own modeling paste. Yes. All right, so let's take this. Now I know she's gonna go there, so I just wanna pop a little bit Not much, not much. And I thought I might use my new hexed stencil and I want to pop it up here. And I don't want it to be too thick. Yes. I know, I'm way too excited about it. And I'll pop some in under here. And I'm connecting these with all of these little... Um, of uh, these elements here that I have used on my page, so or on my project so far. So where this collaging is, I'm connecting them to that so that it looks balanced. So there's a little bit there, and I'm just gonna put a very small amount down the bottom here. And I like it. So I have made my own goldy, rusty sort of uh, modeling paste and I'm gonna clean my palette knife. And my stencil, heaven forbid. I oh, know, right? No, we're not going to put it in the dishwasher, Louise. I was waiting for it. So you can do anything at all using Lindy's powders and modelling paste. So let's think about the, you know, if you've got a, a whole range of, of Lindy's powders, you have a new product. If you have some modelling paste, just add a little powder to it and bam, off you go. You don't need to spend money on those expensive pastes which have, that are already coloured when you've already got them sitting at home. One product, multiple uses. And I'm just going to quickly, oh, actually, hang on, before I dry that off, why don't I tip a little bit of gold embossing powder over it while it's wet? Why don't I? That's a great idea. So I'm just putting this book paper down to catch any excess. And I don't want it over the whole thing. I just want it in a few different spots. And because it is wet, it's going to stick to it. Um... And it's also stuck to the um, gel medium that wasn't dry, but that's okay. Just a little up here. And just a freckle down there. Because it is wet, when I dry it all off in a moment, the embossing powder will activate. Very cool, easy idea, just because I can. This collage paper is called, Michelle's asking the question. Oh, look, it's a, it'll be, um, have a search for Stamperia rice paper. Um, there's a couple of them actually that are available online and they are, I think it's Lady Vagabond and I think that they are amazing for something like this. Um, I've had them in stock for quite a while actually, which is really good. So I'm just giving this a decent amount of heat just to activate that, uh, to melt that embossing powder at the same time as drying my texture paste before I add any colour. So there's a whole range of really, really awesome rice papers uh, that that would suit this perfectly. There's this incredible one with a house um, that I start, I was just, I was going to cut it up and then I went, no, I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with the cogs today and do something in the Lady Vagabond style. So see how that embossing powder's melted there? 
So embossing powder has numerous purposes. So when you're using embossing powder, make sure that you are melting the crystals. You don't need to wave it around like this with your heat tool, just melt it. It's not gonna burst into flames, it's not gonna burn. If it's gonna burst into flames, then you know, maybe stop using it. I know, right? And you need to melt those crystals until they change color and they're all melted in together. So the gold embossing powder that I'm using um, is a Lindy's Gold. I only stock the Lindy's embossing powders because I think that it is the best on the market. It is the bee's knees. It's lovely, it's fine, and the color is amazing. And it's 15% off today and tomorrow and Sunday. All right. Voila. Now, that's hot, don't touch it. So that's all dry. And that has melted in beautifully. You can see it's got that little bit of a shimmer to it. Thank you, Karen Campbell. Brownie points for you, darling. Good work on the linking. Do you want to link the rest of the Stamperie ones up that would also look amazing while you're at it, babe? Love that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so I've got multiple different backgrounds here, right? So we've got some gel medium on the background here. We've got this bit of tape here. We've got some book paper. We've got this, um, my hexed stencil. And what did I do with her head? The white, yeah, the white embossing powder is excellent. Um, Chrissy's just asking what it's like. It's lovely and it's thin, which is what I love. Okay, so this is where she is going to go. So what I'm going to do next is I'm quickly going to grab a... No, I'm not. I, am, I was going to grab a lead pencil, but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a... I've got a micron pen here um, just because I want to just have a bit of a guide on where her head is gonna go, uh, just because I wanna use some sprays around that. I don't want too much color underneath her noggin. That works for me. So I've got a bit of an area there that I can see. Let's get some spraying done. So Lindy's sprays are just the bomb. So Lindy's have been around forever. You guys know that. You know how much I love Lindy's. Um, and when you buy a Lindy's spray, don't forget that they come as a powder and then you need to activate them. So all of these have been activated. And there's simple instructions on the sides of them which says... To use, add warm water to the fill line which is right there. Uh, let it sit for 10 minutes. Shake before each use. Bam, easy. Love that. Hello, Leanne. Um, and they're fantastic. So you will receive it as a powder and then you need to activate it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build some colour around. So before I do that, let's whack some powder down. Powder, what's this stuff called? Paper towel. Not powder. Uh, just to try and keep my mess contained, heaven forbid. Right, and I'm going to start having a bit of a play. Let's get her head out of the way. Hello, Emma. Welcome, my love. So I'm using a combination here. I've got a few out. I've got some of the moon shadow sprays. So moon shadow sprays are the ones that will spray with a brown shimmer sorry, a brown liquid and have a coloured shimmer. So this one is called Golden Doubloons. I also have here Buccaneer Bay Blue. And you can see that shimmer sitting on the bottom there, right? Gorgeous. So let's get it on there. And I'm just going to go around like that. And I'm going to build this colour up. So it's just, just going nice and tight in on it. And now I think I might go with... A little tawny turquoise so this is going to be a dark brown shimmer sorry I keep saying shimmer a dark brown spray but you can see the color of the shimmer that's going to sit with it so this is going to be lovely and the shimmer when it dries is going to be 
got that lovely blue tone to it mixed with this gold. So I'm quickly going to heat set that and then I'm going to another, add another layer and add a colour in. So I'm after this really sort of golden, grungy, dirty sort of look going on. I know, it sounds a bit weird, but it's, it's part of the process. I love doing projects like this. I haven't created anything like this for a while. And I love how it's pulling in and around this paper. It's soaking into certain textures. It's resisting on others. It's doing some really amazing things. This is a eight by 10 canvas. We actually have them in our online store. You'll find them um, in tools, I reckon, possibly. So they are something that I like to, to create on. But like I said, you could easily do this in a journal, on a scrapbook page, uh, on a card front, all sorts of different surfaces and they'll all react differently. But I didn't gesso at first, it was already pre-primed. Now, it's not totally dry, but what I think I might do, the um, image that I've chosen has got a little bit of green and a little bit of blue. The original image has got some coral coming out the top of her head and the bottom of her head. Eh, that didn't float my boat. So I thought I would just add in some blues and greens now in some splatters. Let's just check my positioning. All right. Oh, my nozzle has stopped working. Um, just another little tip. We also sell the nozzles. If the, I can't be bothered at the moment just unblocking that. So I've got one of these little guys. And it's done. Get that out of the way. And I'm just going to add a few little, little squirts around the place. I don't want too much. I just want a nice little amount. Squirt. Just a little squirt. Um, and this bit here is bothering me, so I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to add a little blue for depth before I add in... something else you know something else look how it's pulled on top of the gel medium here that's kind of awesome thanks girls um okay the lindy's color that i used with the texture paste the one that i used today was bayou boogie gold and it has just made it a really lovely bronzy sort of colour. Um, but don't forget, you can mix any colour at all with modelling paste. You don't have to use anything in particular. And the really awesome thing is, is they're a pigment dye-based powder, which means they're not a watercolour powder like some of the other brands on the market. Um, it's not made in a little factory in China or anything like that. Um, it's made in a family business in a garage where it has been for the last 25 years in Washington by the most amazing little family business. And I think that that has just got so much more to it. Okay, this colour here is called Galactic Teal. This is from the Outer Space collection in the sprays. And I'm going to add depth to my edges with this. like so and then you're going to have to watch me dry it again um da, da, da. that'll do oh i like it so while i'm watching while you're all watching paint dry um so yeah we have got 15 percent off of lindy's products for this weekend uh, and you can utilise our no judgement postage again, which means that we will collate and put all of your orders together for you. So we will make sure that um, early in the week, we take a couple of days, check all the orders off, finish packing everything, and then we make sure, go through each individual bag, hopefully we don't miss anything, and try and get all of the orders 
together and out to you as soon as we possibly can. Um, we have pattern paper on special or 15% off. Alcohol inks as well are 15% off. What else, Louise? Stamps and stencils are 15% off. Not the Natalie May scrapbooking ones though, okay? So um, the new Natalie May designs are not on special. They will not be discounted at the checkout. Uh, we also have some fantastic designs with three quarters. Three, sorry, three quarter designs are also on special. There are some great kits. Um, there's uh, lots and lots of amazing things at thirty percent off in the clearance section. So take a moment to go through and fill up your cart with some more things that you probably don't need because we love you for it. <laughs> All right, I'm making sure that this is actually quite, quite dry before doing the next bit. I'm gonna bring it up to camera. Dun, look at that depth, <gasps> see that? Look at that shimmer. So excited over, you know, nothing. All right, now, oh, hang on, my stool's not rolling. I'm just going to let that sit for a second. Something else that I'm going to think about, I've considered adding to this, so I haven't decided if I'm going to do it yet, so I'm just going to pop that aside, is we have got these uniquely creative lace embellishments in. There is quite a range of these. There's a few different ones. There's some butterflies. Um, there are all sorts of different things. So fun fact about these guys, they're excellent for adding texture to your project and they are they take color beautifully so i'm going to color them to match my project that's a great idea so i'm going to just leave them out here and i'm going to spray them in a couple of different colors so i'm going to start with this lovely golden doubloons And then I thought I might add a little galactic teal and I'm still giving it a little bit of a shake to get the most of that shimmer. And I'm not giving it a full hard spray. I'm giving it a, oh, what I fondly call an ink fart, a little splurt ink fart. probably not the most politically correct thing to say, but you know what I mean. And there's a bit of more gold over it. So, <laughs> oh, look, um, Missy, you might have to jump out and jump back in again. You will actually be able to go back and watch this as well, sweetheart. So there we go. I have just coloured that and I've made pretty paper towel. So I'm just going to quickly heat set those. But they look really pretty. So you can do that. We've got a whole heap of lace embellishments. If you just do a search online for lace on the website, I am almost certain that they will come up. So very pretty. Shall we have another closer look? Hang on. Hang on. Rather than putting them on my hand. And fun fact about um, Lindy's sprays on fabric, it's, it's a dye, so it is almost permanent. So that means that you can, you know, once it's dry and, and set, you'll be able to add it to, you know, your jeans or your shirt or something. I don't know, whatever you want to do with it. Um, all right, done, 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 done. Might add a little stamping. Um, something else that happened overnight is that my won't let you down stamp has come back in stock again. Uh, was out of stock for a little while and have got it back in again. So this is my favorite little word stamp. So I have got here some vintage photo and some ground espresso, and I don't know which one I want to use. So what I might do first is just get out some paper here just to do a little tester to see which one I like better. Um, 
vintage photo is really nice it's actually quite light and then this one oh, is better okay so let's go with the ground espresso and this is from the archival distress archival ink set from mr timmy holtz himself so what i want to do is just add a little bit of script in here so it just disappears into the background and the good thing is it is same color and we've got this newspaper print here and here and down here and it's going to match in quite nicely and you can see that i'm using it i'm not using it on a block that's because i don't want it to be perfect nothing else about this little project so far is perfect so i don't want a perfect stamped image i want a a broken image and i'm happy with that and i'm going to heat set it because these archival inks are oil based so i just want to dry it off 100 percent before i do anything else and then it's totally permanent I think it's time to stick the head on. What do you think? So she's going to go here, like that. I'm going to not put the gel medium onto here because this hasn't totally dried. So I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to put the gel medium onto this, which is something I would not normally do. Where's my gel medium? Here we go. Um, but I'm going to commit to it and I'm going to use my palette knife so it doesn't go on super thick that's too thick okay so when you're doing it you want to be putting it on and almost wiping it off so it's just leaving like a a really light coat and then I'm just going to spread it out with my fingers to make sure that all of my bits and all of my bits edges and whatnot are covered the shoulder back of the head i hope this works sure it'll be fine isn't that what we say louise mm -hmm. it'll be fine All right. Oh. Okay. Yeah, happy birthday to you, Kerry Ann. One of my look, you're a top fan, babe. But we know you are anyway. So I'm just gonna start laying this down. So I'm gonna start with the bottom. and put it on like I'm contacting a book. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bit of paper towel. Now, so I'm doing it like this to polish it down because it is fragile and I'm wanting to make sure that I've got no bubbles underneath. So using a piece of paper towel to push it all down is working a treat. I just came up with that then. How clever am I, Louise? Just agree, just nod and smile. Oh, okay, so I have a bit too much stamping in under her face, which has kind of given her a little bit of a beard and <laughs> that's okay uh, oh of course it is leanne's birthday i did see that come up this morning leanne do you want me to sing happy birthday to you darling no no, no i didn't think so so now that's stuck down nice and good from here there's so many things i can do i can take my doilies that we colored earlier um and place them around the place coming out of her don't laugh at me. 
place your doilies around the place. I have also got, oh, I was going to put washi tape on it too, and I forgot. Um, time check. Okay, good, good, good. Half an hour. Look at me go. Um, I can also put on some metal bits. Let's have a look. And I can paint over the top of this too. So I could get my um, my watercolours out or my magicals out and I can um, give her some more life. I could Stabilo pencil her. Where's my Stabilo? Here we go. So my Stabilo pencil, of course, is my water-soluble pencil. So by just giving it a little bit of a shadow in and around here is going to... Oh, you know what? If I dried that... I am a professional, people. I am a professional. But I'm also a human. I may not get it right all the time, but... I'm a bit scared of ripping it now. So what I want to do is I want to create a bit of a shadow, especially around the back, especially around this back edge. So the Stabilo pencil is going to do that quite well, I hope. Uh, so using the pencil and now a, just a wet paintbrush, I'm just going to activate. Here we go. I'm just going to activate it and it will create... Just a little shadow. I don't want to go too much onto my Lindy's because that's not totally dry and hasn't totally set yet. But see how it's just created that nice little... Shadow. What's the matter, Louise? Breathe. Oh. Breathe through it, babe. doing this upside down here for no reason other than just makes it a little bit easier for me. So the Stabilo pencil will work beautifully for doing this, but you do need to activate it pretty, pretty quickly just to make sure that it is going to work and stay nice and permanent. So from here, like I said, there's so many cool things I could do. I could get in here and color in all of these curls. Um, let's have a look here. I've got some golden doubloons. I can take some of this. Now there's no reason why I have to use it as a spray. I can take, put my paintbrush straight into here and add it to my rice paper. So I have to remember though, my rice paper is porous and it's going to soak in. So I need to work confidently and get that in there. Yeah, that's actually, uh, Jeanette's, uh, sorry, Jeanette's just commented saying it's given it way more depth and that's right. But I don't want to do it at the front of her face because the light's hitting that way. So it's going to be darker at the back. It's just those little touches that make it makes it look visually pleasing, um, which is, you know, what we're all trying to, you know, that we all really want. We want it to look visually pleasing. And I can continue to add all sorts of bits and pieces here. So uh, I can, you know, get in here and get some of this gold and the gold mica from the um from the sprays will sit on top and look super pretty so this one is called grab a guy gold which is also available in um a, a magical shaker and i can 
make her curls a little bit more. And they'll have a shimmer to them that will sit beautifully on top of a shimmer that will sit beautifully on top of the rice paper. Okay. And I can build on it. I, I don't have to start out super. I always go with the less is best option to start with because if for whatever reason I mess it up, it's harder to fix than it is to, you know, harder to take it off, take it off than it is to add to it. Um, yeah, so Susan's just commented saying that she was going to ask me this week about the difference between, you know, can she work in a, um, a journal? Oh, or, sorry, a canvas over a journal. Um, yes, I can't. I can't come up with a good reason why you can't. There's, there's no such word as can't, is there, Louise? No. Nope. Um, we don't do can't. We do. Why not? Let's give it a whirl. That is what we do. What is the solution? What is the solution? Correct. Um, we would rather do that. That makes perfect sense. And and like I've said before, you will gain more by trying than you will, um, you know, if, if, you, if you don't give it a, a try, you know, what, what have you got to lose? Absolutely nothing. I'm just trying to cover up her face a bit because I'm going to add a... Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. What you doing? Oh, just dropping my paintbrush on the ground. Oh, damn it. Why are you covering her face? I'm covering her face up because I want to add some splatters. And if my splatters aren't accurate, she will end up with... More beard? Galactic teal freckles. <laughs> and galactic teal freckles might look good on some. Brush in. And I'm going right to the bottom with my brush so that I can pick up that shimmer. And it's like a, it's, it's a smoker's tap. It's an ash tap. I feel like it needs a bit of colour in there. Ladies, at this stage, this is going to be my last live Facebook for the day. I have got a class to teach at seven tonight here in Adelaide as this, um, and that will go to probably, by the time I leave here, it'll be maybe close to 11 o'clock. Um, so I plan on um, packing all of your orders, picking your orders and packing before I knock off, go home and spend nine minutes with my family and then come back. Um, right, and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm thinking I'm going to add some cogs. So these cogs, there's a combination here I've got here of Tim Holtz cogs and um, Tim Holtz cogs and uniquely creative cogs I've got here. Um, I think I've been collecting them for about, you know, 47 years um, or 46 years and they look great. I will stick them on using gel medium. So, and it will dry and I'll have to leave them to sit and dry overnight because, of course, gel medium will, I think that needs to go up there, because gel medium will take a little bit of time. I'll put the smaller ones at the top. Uh, da, da, this one can go there. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm singing. Sorry. Uh, so make sure that you have a look. If you have a look for um, Uniquely Creative, they do these little bags of embellishments and cogs and bits and pieces in lots of different colours. And they have some tools as well for hammers and bits and pieces for men's projects. So um, very, very handy little things to do. Um, and like I said, I will use a I will use gel medium to stick all of these babies down. Ta-da! 
Hi guys, I'm not moving to the Gold Coast, FYI. It's not happening. There's not enough grain up in the Gold Coast and I would, you know, and the husband would have to live off of me and then we'd all go hungry. Um, what do you think? Do we like it? So, inexpensive little project to make using one piece of rice paper from Stamperia. Um, there's a ton of different designs. Um, like, there really, really is. There's a whole heap of them. Uh, so, I'm going to stick these down in a moment. Just I'll do this off camera. You don't need to see me fluffing around with it now. Uh, but just to recap, what we have done is we started off with a white A4 canvas. And we have built on it. Let me just turn on a bit of light to see if I can pick up a bit of that shimmer. I might, you might get a bit of flicker. I apologise about that, but it looks very awesome. Um, so Lindy's Gang Sprays, embossing powder. We made our own modelling paste. We we and used stencil in the background here. We used some collage paper bits and pieces. Do you see the depth on the corners, how it's important to add depth on those corners? Just spraying the life out of your canvas isn't really going to do much at all. It's not going to give it any dimension and you want it to have dimension. Um, adding the Stabilo pencil to the back is great and I didn't, do, I didn't do any over onto the canvas because that hasn't dried completely and I didn't want that to muddy up. Uh, so just doing that will work. There's plenty, plenty of more things I can, I can do to this. I can make her lips more pronounced. Um, I can add some more stamping to it, but I actually quite like how this is sitting at the moment. Okay. So it's looking, can you see that shimmer that's sitting with it? It looks damn fine. And I didn't use these. Oh, I could put those under there. Excited? Can I get over this? Goodness me! All right, put the gold one over the bronze one. Oh, that's better. Where's the other ones here? But yeah, you can you can dye use um, lace on your lindies. There's no reason why you can't do that. Okay, so very very easy to do. All right, guys, I'm going to go and stick these down off camera. Um, and then I'm going to get back to Louise and I are going to be packing your orders and trying to or picking your orders ready to go to post don't forget you can jump online to nataliemay.com.au um, yes joe you will be able to watch this back later darling and then it will go up on youtube um, when jessica has some time away from year 12 um, and it, yeah, all of the information is there. There's some fantastic bargains online. So um, please jump online, nataliemay.com.au. All right, girls, forgot to say it last time. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, wear a mask, do the things, and I hope to see you all again soon. And 9 a.m. on Saturday morning, I'm going to be back here with something you are not going to want to miss. Thank you.